Hi everyone, welcome back to Linda's Thrifty Life. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, and I hope you'll stick around. We have a lot of fun here. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul, and I know, I was thinking the same thing when I stopped, like, how could there be possibly anything that I didn't already purchase at Dollar Tree in my mega haul I had the other day? But never fear, there's always something to purchase at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start out with the fall items. These were new in my store and I had not seen them anywhere. So I was excited to see this tumbler. They have three designs in the store. And this is the one I chose. It says gather and it's got the pumpkins. And I just thought this was really, really pretty. And um, getting me in the mood. You know, you could tell I started putting up some of my fall decor. The other thing they had was all of the new, the fall plates, and I think the leaf ones that are, you know, the fall leaves that are the uh, ceramic plates, I think those are, they've had those before, um, and, but they had a whole bunch of them out at the big front of the store, but um, I didn't purchase those. I have a set of uh, vintage fall dishes that I absolutely love and use every year, and I'll share them with you one day after I get a table tablescape set up. But I did purchase these little Melmine plates. Um, I thought about getting the big dinner plates, but I really wouldn't use them, so I didn't really need them. I really am trying to be more intentional. Um, but I really, really like this little plate. The pumpkins and the colors, and it says gather. So I got four of them. Um, we'll use them for desserts, or the grands like to eat off of, you know, smaller plates. Although Tiger is getting so big that he can eat a, a big old plate full of food. Uh, much more than some of us. He's a big growing boy. One of the other fall things I got was this towel. Now this towel, which says eat ham, and it's a turkey saying, eat ham, don't eat me, eat ham. So I got this for my daughter, Sarah. Now Sarah is a tiny thing. She's about five foot tall, maybe five one, she says. And uh, growing up, she was just always a real petite little girl. And she would go to friends' houses and, um, you know, stay stay overnight and eat dinner with them and one day one of the mothers said to me she goes for a little girl she sure can eat and I said did you have ham and she said yes and I said oh that child can put away some ham so this is for Sarah eat ham she'll like it um the other thing I got and I really do think okay this is going to be the last Halloween item I buy. All right, the witch is in. And the reason I got this is because every time I go into the Dollar Tree, I look at this and I pick it up and I say, oh, that's so cute, but I don't need it. And I don't need it, but darn it, it's so cute. And today when I put my hands on it again, I said, you know, Linda, you've looked at it every time you go in there. Just pick that thing up. So I did, and I'm really glad I did. The witch is in. You know, not that I'm a witch, or if I am, I'm a good witch. So um, I found a couple of things. Um, let's see. Oh, I found this, and this is for my friend Tony at Creative Chica Halls. And, um, isn't that cute? Um, Tony is away from home right now helping out her son and daughter-in-law with their brand new baby. And um, so I'm not sure that she's getting the Dollar Trees and she might not have seen this. And I just had to pick it up and say, Tony, if you, if you see this, it's for you, girl. They had a couple of books I picked up. Um, not a lot. They had a lot of new books, but nothing I was really interested in except this one. And I'm not even interested in it for what it is, which is a draw manga now. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Um, but um, it just, um, these characters, um, my older daughter, she, she loves all of this. She's, she's just really into this um, 
anime or manga or whatever it's called. But um, I got it because I think the pictures are so cute. And I could just, look at that. And I could just see me um, cutting this up and using it in a junk journal or, you know, maybe pocket letters, but I could just see it being used in, in a lot of different ways. And who knows, my daughter may even, even want it. Not that she was, would draw them, but she might. So I did pick up a few food items. Very few, actually. But you know how much I love my caramel Milky Ways. This... These and my caramel, um, salted caramel brownie bit, brownie, I'm just, my brownie things that I like. Brownie brittle. Okay, it's been a long day. Are the two sweets that I'm just really addicted to, but I'm trying to be very, um, careful of not eat too many. But I opened my, my last package of the Milky Ways last night. I only ate one of the little bars, but I just was in there today so I just I picked up an, all of that to say I picked up another pack of those and then this is something I like to keep in my cabinet it's chicken a la king by Swanson and I, I just love this for some reason it reminds me of of um, home childhood um, it's definitely comfort food and um, when there are days I just don't feel good and I just need something to eat this is just so easy, you know, you just heat it up, throw it over some toast, and slurp it up. And it just, it, it's comfort food. So, I like to keep a can of this in my cabinet. And um, right next to it, they had the Swanson Chicken and Dumplings. Now, I've never tried this, but I thought I'd pick it up, and either I will eat it or Mom will eat it. She likes this kind of thing for um, lunch or dinner when she's not very hungry, and um, it's easy to eat, easy to heat up. So, that will be eaten. Um, I did get some more of the um, sequins. Okay, it's a long day. Take a breath. Okay, some more sequins. And uh, since I'm going to be using making pocket letters and different crafts, and I picked up this pack of 10 of these little clear cups with a little lid so that I can store them. And uh, I think 10 of these for a dollar is a pretty good, you know, pretty good bargain. So I'll be able to store, you know, little bits and pieces of whatever in there. And, of course, I picked up some cute things because that is my downfall at, at Dollar Tree or the cute things. So, I know. But pink pom-poms. Not cat ears. Pink pom-poms. Cute. I just loved them. So, I picked those up. They had a lot of different colors, so I only got the pink. And then this is a little key ring. I hadn't seen this before with a big soft pom-pom and a little um, pink mermaid tail. So I picked that up. And then I picked up this My Little Pony lip gloss, lip, lip balm for, um, for Scouts Christmas. I'm starting to put together some things for Christmas. And then this, okay. This is just weird to me. <laughs> I know. I mean, it is a flamingo, but look at that pen. And it's, you know, <laughs> they had a couple of different characters, but I did pick up the flamingo, but just one. And I am really not sure about this, <laughs> how I feel. The pen goes to there, and then it's got this floppy head. Oh, well. It's a flamingo. So that is everything I bought at Dollar Tree. So I actually did a, a really good job of, you know, some, you know, things I needed, some things I wanted, and, and um, I did pick up a few more stickers like I got the other day because I don't even have them. I've already put them away um, because I am going to be doing some pocket letters. But um, I wanted to let you know that I did try the Pantene um, foam conditioner in the shower on my hair and it did make it really soft 
but I don't know about bouncy. You know, it, it kind of looks the same to me, but it felt really good, and it, you know, so I'll use it up, but I don't know that I will buy more. It's just something else for me to put on my hair. This is a product I purchased, and I told you I'd come back and let you know what I thought of it. Um, it's the Perfect Purity Unscented Hairspray. First of all, it spitzes, doesn't have a nice even spray. That does not work for me. And second of all, it made my hair itch and my eyes itch. So even though I cover them, it still gets in the air. So even though it says unscented, there's obviously something in here that, that just doesn't agree with me. But it won't go to waste. I'll be spraying um, some of the things I buy, the signs and all that have all that glitter on them, like the witches in. I'll have to spray that. So this will go good. And I'm not saying it's a bad product. Somebody else may love it, but for me it just didn't work. And um, that's all I have to say about that. So... The only things that I'm still really looking for are some of the uh, Q-Tex hand creams and especially the uh, foot creams, um, especially the heel creams. I have some gnarly feet. I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed of my feet, but I have super, super dry heels no matter what I do. I am not a diabetic, but I just have really dry heels. And um, they don't crack because I usually I work really hard to keep them you know, from doing that. But that's a long, long bunch of words to say that I'm looking for those products. And now I'm going to give an appeal to all of you. As you know, I have been hauling the Barbie clothes and the Barbie, the cute Barbie items for Scouts Christmas. I have found all sorts of cute shirts. There are more out there that if I ever find them, the Hello Kitty and the, um, the, the Hello Kitty especially, I would love to have. But the real problem is that there are no bottoms to be found in my Dollar Trees. So, I'll, you know, Barbie is going to be pantless, skirtless. Oh my gosh, we can't have that. We just can't. I was in Kroger and I walked through their toy section and I found the skirt. Now this is exactly the kind of thing that we have been buying in Dollar Tree for one dollar. This was on sale at Kroger and it was two dollars and fifty cents. I'm like, I bought one because I just can't have this Barbie with shirts and no bottom. But to any of you that are out there and see the skirts that they have out, and I've seen them hauled a lot of places, but every one of my Dollar Trees that I've seen here have not had any of the skirts nor any of the Hello Kitty Barbie items. I don't know if they're going to different parts of the country. Who knows what Dollar Tree's doing? But I'm making an appeal. If you find some skirts and you wouldn't mind, I would love to have some for for Scouts Barbie. You can take it out of the package and fold it up and just put it in a little envelope and I'll pay you for them. Just, you know, the easiest way to get them to me. But I know they have a little red skirt and a denim skirt and a bunch of other skirts that I've seen hauled, but I just haven't been able to find them. So that's my one. Um, I'm asking for some help. So, thank you guys. I know I've babbled on. Thank you so much for coming back, and um, I will talk to you real soon. Bye now.